Hello everyone, this is Kenny Brandy from Cambridge Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in this series of videos, we are learning Bootstrap 5 and in this particular video, we are going to look at off covers. So we'll go into the Bootstrap documentation website and that's getbootstrap.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. And when we get to components, this is one of the new additions with Bootstrap version 5. And here we have off canvas. So I'll click on this over here it says build hidden sidebars into your projects for navigation shopping carts and more with a few classes and a javascript plugin so how it works these are information you can read later on but i'm just going to demonstrate over here so there's a live demo option over here and we have these buttons okay so this with an href link and we have another one with a button and these are the href link and the button now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this okay so i'll do a control c grab everything over here come into vs code and put out a class container so inside of my container class i'll paste this inside i'll do a control s and the prettier extension i have over here uh, pretty much formats everything over here for me so this is where it starts the link with the href now when i come back here this is what i have now when you click on it you have this off canvas showing up over here. so it is off the canvas basically the canvas is like your entire web page so this comes in off the canvas and you can have access to everything over here and this can be a very good place to have some navigation items showing over here we are going to look at um, a perfect example of that so you can either use an href or a button they are going to do pretty much the same thing and for the purpose of this demonstration i'm just going to clear this because we are just going to use the button good so as you can see we have a button and we are styling it over here with btn btn dash primary and that's why we have the primary class over here or the color then it is of a type button then the data ds toggle is off canvas and it is targeting an id over here which is definitely going to be somewhere here so this off canvas example is being targeted over here so basically this is what happens now let me show you some few examples of some other classes that we can use in addition to this so this is the button and apart from the button we have this div container that pretty much houses whatever we toggle and appears over here so as you can see there's a text over here which is off canvas and a bunch of some text over here with this drop down you can customize a number of things over here now one of the things i would want to show you is within this div off canvas class we have this off canvas stats now if your guess is as good as mine we can also do off canvas dash end and when we save and when I click on this, it is now going to display it at the end of the screen. All right. So definitely you can do top and button as well. So let's come in here. If I do off canvas dash top and come back here, you can see this off canvas showing at the top. Okay. And we can always click on this to close it up. And finally, let me do the button. So with the button and save you can see that it is showing up from the button all right let's keep on with the end okay so that it shows at the right side all right so this looks very cool we can add in a number of things over here so now let's style some few things over here and see how things will begin to look so let's say we have some kind of a menu okay with some menu items over here and the design i have in mind is we can actually change this text over here to say side menu so i'll have side menu showing up over here as the text then this div is actually the text element showing up over there i can get rid of this and finally this is a drop down with these drop down elements over here i can also get rid of this and if I save this, 
remember all this is going to be in a class of off canvas body so when i save and come back and click on this you can see that if you now have side menu and there's nothing much over here all right so we are going to put some kind of a list group item over here and we've already discussed list groups so for instance let's have a ul element and let's have allies okay so we can do item one and if i'm to duplicate this a number of times and save and if you have to come back here we are definitely going to see this showing up over here so in order to use the list group classes we need to come into the parent ul class and do a list dash group so when i do a list dash group and save we also need to come into the list item elements and also do a list dash group dash item so i'll just get rid of this and now duplicate this a number of times so i'll do a shift alt and a down arrow key and that's what i'm doing so i'll do a control s to save and if i'm to come back here you can see that you have this list group items showing up over here let's change this to menu items and yeah let's say we have item two and item three so here again this is what we have now remember we've already spoken about list group so i'm not going to go much into it but we can actually add in a number of classes over here so remember we had the active class we can add to let's say the header okay and when i add in active and come back here i can see that this is what we have we can also make this link tags or anchor tags and let me just show that example so in order to do that let me just clear everything we have over here and let's use an anchor tag like this so i have item one and inside of this i cannot have the class of list group dash item and i'll do a shift alt and the down arrow key to duplicate it a number of times and now when i save this and come back here now these are clickable links that can link me to other pages of the website so one of the last things i would want to talk about is when you have this off canvas okay by default what you have over here now when i click on this and i decide to scroll i cannot scroll in fact i'm trying to scroll but i cannot scroll off this canvas okay and neither can i i mean the only thing i have access is what i have over here i cannot scroll so now i can scroll because i've not activated the off canvas but when i click on it i cannot scroll all right so we can actually make this scrollable and in order to do that we just need to come into the off canvas there's a div the off canvas div element over here and add in a number of attributes so we can do data dash bs dash scroll and we are going to set this to true so that's going to be the attributes so when we set this to true and now when i come back here and click on this i can now scroll along this okay all right now you can see that this area is also shaded dark okay we can also get rid of that and that's also going to be another attribute and that's going to be data dash bs dash backdrop we have backdrop like this and you can also set this to i mean is either going to be a false or a true so when i set this to false and come back over here now when i click on this you can see that we still have this white okay that shaded area doesn't appear so there are number of things you can do over here you just have to customize it to suit what you really want to do all right so this is going to be the end of this video now if you find this tutorial very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to Cambrotech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful at Cambrotech, we say learn programming you can do it bye bye and catch you in the next video